You ever feel like you're just uh, missing something to your character? Possibly like a tail or a tentacle. Why not both? So in this video, we are going to learn about the tentatail. And it is a really cool interaction uh, with just about everything. So the tentatail, you can create this by pretty simply dividing multiple tentacles. So this is the basic wand I have right here. The increased duration, I believe, is adding enough to the tentacle itself uh, that when it's divided, it almost amplifies that amount of time that it has to last. And it's actually this one that's lasting the longest. And this one's just the kind of like host tentacle to uh, make sure that this one, this one stays as long as possible. So I bet you're wondering, what's the point of a tentatail other than the look of it? It just so happens that our tentatail finally ran out, so let's get another one. So you can throw almost just about everything on it. So let's throw a damage field and a freezing charge on it. So you're going to modify this one and then it's going to cast this one with a whole bunch of uh, just tentacles. And it looks like this. It stops making snow and this is a extremely dangerous weapon and it's extremely cool it's just a tentacle following you around that can murder your enemies oops so it it lasts for quite a minute and you can just draw with snow uh it doesn't produce any par particles after a set amount of time and it's pretty fantastic but, we can get some more. Let's make a pink tentacle. I, I'm feeling pink. And you know what? Ah, well, we'll do Lava to Blood separate. So here's our pink tentacle. Fantastic. And let's get some uh, Lava to Blood. So this tentacle will make any lava around you into blood. And it's just following you around, so if you're you accidentally step in lava, oh, and then the lava lava would be blood. Another thing you can do with it, if you use wand refresh, is use matter eater on the tentacle. You have to pair it together. I will do a video on wand refresh because it's a whole heck of a a lot to take in. But the basic thing we're getting at here is we're not going to use any of these charges because it's paired with wand refresh. So let's go to our little drawing area. And I made a mess here and I wanted to clean it up, but I, I guess we're, we're close enough to the color of an eraser, so let's become an eraser. That's good enough. I, I'm, I'm tired of erasing stuff. And we, we got rid of all the glass, so that works. Uh, notice how it didn't use any charges, and that's because of this double spell. So it it's finicky with divide buys. I've gotten it to work, but I haven't had anything consistently, so I don't want to really throw the divide buys into the mix until I understand more, but it's super cool. So that's the first wand we have going on. And this is all thanks to LePunk. I would have never like been driven into wanting to make a tentatail so bad if uh, LePunk didn't stumble across uh, his discovery. So thank you so much, LePunk. All right, let's get into our second wand. So this wand I call the Nine Tails wand because it summons nine tails. So the tails kind of coat everything in blood. It's a little horrific, but you know, it's only fitting. I mean, it is a tentatail with nine tails. 
Ah, what a great tail. Look at it. Just whip it around. Ah. And then we get into this one. So this one is a parasite wisp, but it's to make sure that this nuke can become infinite. So normally nukes have a infinite wisp chance of 6.6666 repeating, uh, but with this one, this build guarantees that this nuke can be grabbed and made infinite. Is it practical? No. Is it fun? Yeah. So let's let's make it. And uh, for anyone not familiar with the Parasite Wisp, definitely check out my video. Uh, it has three light shots to make sure that the nuke's 75 damage isn't proccing on us and murdering us because it has piercing on it. So these three things aren't needed. Everything else on it is needed to make it a safe uh, Parasite Wisp. So let's get it built. So now we have an infinite nuke. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it either. It's there. It's, it's pretty cool. We can touch it and summon tentacles, so I mean, that's, that's something, right? We have a tentacle bidet. I mean, uh, that's something, right? After, after long days of noiting, use your tentacle bidet. It also looks like a crown, so that's, that's pretty neat. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, to make sure that, uh, I take my title as a tentacle queen, we are going to use our fourth wand. So, there's a lot going on. The main gist is it's a parasite wisp that's summoning tentacles, making us summon tentacles, that summons more tentacles. Let's get the queen special. Okay, now that that's over, we'll, we'll let our our little Parasite Wisp uh, have fun in the corner over there. We have this build right here, and uh, let's go draw in some water. It is extremely satisfying, just walk, watching all the water just fall down and... Oh, I forgot. We have our our uh, our fungus here. Just drag our tentacles around. Oh, that's perfect. Well, I found out the best interaction. Alright, I hope the devs don't do anything with the Tentatail or Parasite Wisp, but if they do, I understand. Anyway, have a wonderful evening, noon, and night. Goodbye.